Hello, and thank you for your interest in Komatsu. Starting with the introduction of Tier 4 Interim Emissions Technology, Komatsu made significant improvements to the machine monitor system for operator safety and information. Today, we're going to take a detailed look at those enhancements on our Tier 4 final wheel loader. So with that, let's get started. The wheel loader monitor group is nicely laid out for good visibility and ease of understanding. Let's break this monitor group down into three main parts and examine how these parts communicate with the operator. Centered on the top are the warning and pilot lamps. To the right side is the speedometer and tachometer. And to the left is the monitor display. Looking at the warning and pilot lamps, we can see that there are seven lamps. Starting on the left, we have the centralized warning light which lights up red and the audible buzzer sounds when the machine is in any of the following conditions. Action level LO2, LO3, or LO4 are displayed on the monitor. The brake oil pressure is below a set threshold while the engine is running. The starting switch is turned on when the directional shift lever is in any position other than neutral. When the gear shift is not in neutral and the parking brake is applied, or when a gear is shifted down or the travel direction is changed while the travel speed is high. Another lamp is the parking brake caution lamp, which lights up when the parking brake is applied. The left turn signal pilot lamp flashes when the turn signal lever is moved up. The front high beam pilot lamp lights up when the high beam headlights are activated by the right column lever. The right turn signal pilot lamp flashes when the turn signal lever is moved down. The brake oil pressure caution lamp warns the operator that the brake oil pressure is below the specified value. And finally, the clearance lamp pilot lamp lights up when the clearance lamps are turned on using the right column lever. The speedometer and tachometer work together in the round part of the machine monitor. The tachometer is a digital gauge design, ranged from 0 to 3500 RPM in 100 RPM increments. During certain key on functions, such as manual preheating, this meter unit may reboot. With the pointer of the tachometer making one full swing from 0 to 3500 and back again. This is not a failure. The speedometer is displayed in an LCD window with the tachometer gauge and can be programmed to display either kilometers per hour or miles per hour. The range of this gauge is 0 to 99 kilometers per hour. During certain key on functions, the gauge may reboot with the numbers temporarily displaying 88. This is not a failure. The monitor display may be considered the primary focus of the monitor gauge group. This 7-inch color graphic displays more than just warning and pilot icons. It is designed to mirror a modern high-tech gauge cluster found in expensive automobiles. Let's focus on the four gauges, one in each corner of the display. The gauges are digitally created on a high-definition LCD monitor. The gauge in the upper left corner reports the engine coolant temperature and the display range is 50 to 135 degrees Celsius. The gauge in the lower left corner reports the torque converter oil temperature, and the display range is 50 to 135 degrees Celsius. The gauge in the upper right corner reports the hydraulic oil temperature, and the display range is 20 to 125 degrees Celsius. The gauge in the lower right reports the fuel level, and the display range is 25 to 260 liters. The monitor display includes an eco gauge, which shows the instantaneous fuel consumption. We define the instantaneous fuel consumption rate as the fuel consumption rate at that moment. This is calculated based on monitored parameters that measure accelerator pedal angle, travel speed, gear selection, and workload. This whole gauge can be turned on or off. The gauge itself has two parts. The left bar is green on the bottom and yellow at the top and is adjustable through the machine monitor. This indicates the target fuel consumption rate. The floating step gauge changes as the operator uses the machine. The heavier the use of the accelerator, the higher the bars. One major addition to the monitor display for Tier 4 Final is the diesel exhaust fluid or depth level gauge. It is located on the right side of the monitor. The depth level gauge indicates the remaining depth solution in the depth tank and has four indicators that should help the operator. The blue squares indicate the current depth level. The depth level tank condition indicator is a white icon on a black background when systems are normal. 
The depth level operating range indicator has a green section and a red section. When the blue level indicator squares reach the red section, this is considered the critical refill range. At the top of the monitor display is the seatbelt warning lamp. This lamp is lit if the key switch is in the on position and the operator has not fastened the seatbelt. The alarm buzzer does not sound during this event. To the right of the seatbelt lamp is the shift indicator icon. This icon shows the transmission's speed range and direction. At the bottom of the monitor display, there are two meters. These are user programmable. The left meter can be programmed to display service meter reading, or SMR, in hours, odometer reading, or clock time in 12 or 24 hour format. SMR is the default. The right meter choices are average fuel consumption, which is the default, SMR hours, odometer, or clock time. The temperature controls are still displayed in the center of the monitor panel. Not all of these icons are visible at all times, only when activated by the blue buttons on the multi-switch panel. Shown here are the operation mode, the fan speed, the temperature setting, and the AC on-off status. This concludes the monitor gauge display for Komatsu's mid-size wheel loaders. If you need any additional information or have any questions, please reference the operation and maintenance manual located inside the cab. Thank you for your interest in Komatsu products.